Hi there, what's up? Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and in this video, I want to talk a bit about how you can speed up your workflow. And I'm gonna show you some of the keyboard shortcuts and some of the things that I do when I work in Photoshop every day. So, I, the things that I will show you are very useful if you want to speed up your workflow, and especially for people that are using the menus all the time when they make selections or when they want to zoom in and out. So I'm going to show you some of the most basic uh, shortcuts that you can use and some of the the ones that you will surely use the most. And maybe if, if it's not, um, if you're not used to keyboard shortcuts, maybe it will be a bit hard for you at the beginning, but uh, it will become very natural uh, very quickly, so I think it's worth uh, trying them at least uh, to see what you can do uh, and how they can speed up your workflow. So uh, that's what this uh, tutorial will be about and let's get started. The image that you can see here on the screen, it's uh, from deposit photos, so you can get uh, any image you want. I just have this uh, here so that I have a layer and so that I can have something on the screen to work with. But you can use any image you want, you can use an image of yourself. And well, the first thing that I want to show you is how you can zoom in and out without having to use this tool. This is the tool that you can use to zoom in and out. If you select it, you will see here uh, the minus and the plus. Um, icons and when you click you can zoom out and if you use the plus uh, you can zoom in. One step uh, further is using the navigator and uh, this is useful because you don't have to select the zooming tool. You can use this navigator uh, regardless of the tool that you have selected so whenever you will come here you can click uh, these icons and you can zoom in and out. So that's a bit uh, better than using the tool but there's uh, another way which is a lot faster and it's using the control or command key so you can have any tool you have selected for example right now i select the brush tool if i want to zoom in press and hold the alt and space bar and if you click you can see that icon turns into a minus and if you click you will zoom out and if you press control or command and space bar you'll zoom in so it's all faster using this uh, keyboard shortcuts also, if, for example, if you're zoomed out at, let's say, 33%, if you want to zoom in at the actual size of the image at 100%, a quick way of doing that is pressing Control and 1. The number 1, Control and 1. And that will zoom in 100%. And if you want to you can also press and hold the spacebar and right click and you'll see this pop-up menu and for example select actual pixels if you want to zoom in 100% or fit on a screen to fit the entire image on the workspace. Uh, you can also do uh, alt press just press and hold the alt key and use the mouse wheel so you can see there are a lot of ways of uh, zooming it just uh, by using these uh, three keys which are shift alt and control or command and you can find a lot of combinations and you can find a lot of uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, you can discover them by yourself. So that's uh, all about zooming. Uh, for selections, for example, if you have an active selection, you can um, really quickly deselect it. You can press Ctrl and the D to deselect the current selection. So that's a, a quick way of uh, deselecting layers. Um, what else? Uh, for example, if you want to select a layer, I'll go to another uh, file. This is a PSD file of a premium tutorial which is available on PSD Box. So it's only for premium members, but I, I can use this to show you what I want here, uh, which is how to select a layer without having to search for it here on the layers palette. So you can see there are a lot of layers here. And let's say I want to select that uh, smoke. Actually, there are uh, different versions of the same uh, of the same image. I didn't even see that. So you can see there are multiple versions of the same image. Uh, let's say I want to select that uh, smoke. I will deselect, uh, I will hide those ones. What I can do is press the V key to select uh, the move tool because you have, to, you have to have the move tool selected in order for this uh, trick to work. I'll go, I'll scroll down and select a random layer. And let's say I want to select the smoke. What I can do is press and hold the control or command key and click on the smoke itself. 
and it will select the smoke or in this case there's not a layer above that uh, but if I click here well it it selected the smoke uh, if I want to select this feather again press and hold the control key or command on Mac and click on it and it will select pigeon feather or if I want to select the image itself I can uh, hold so just uh, hold the control key and click on the element that you see here on the scene and it will select that the layer that corresponds to that layer here on the on the layer mask on the layers palette sorry so uh, that's a quick way of selecting layers without having to search for them here on the on the layers palette uh, on Photoshop CS6 we have this new filter here which allows you to uh, to select uh, layers based on the name for example if I want to uh, select the feather I can type the name here and it will show all the layers that contain the word feather so you can see all of them are here listed you can also select by uh, filter by effects and well a lot of uh, a lot of um, options you have here on this uh, on this filter you can turn it on and off this filter whenever you want but let's leave that how it was because not all Photoshop versions have this filter as I said it's only available in Photoshop CS6 well, uh, well, that's how you can select uh, layers without having to to look uh, for them here on the layers palette. Another way of selecting layers is if you press and hold the control key. Remember that you have to have the move tool selected in order for this to work. You can press and hold the control key and right click, and you will see a list of uh, a list of layers here. I don't know if uh, I I right clicked on the smoke. I don't know if uh, these layers are close to the smoke layer or not but uh, you get this list here so uh, you can uh, try and uh, find this for yourself I don't know how this list is created once you right click so uh, I didn't investigate that too much okay let's go back to our uh, image here I'll delete this layer one other very useful thing that will help you uh, speed up your workflow is uh, using the colors here if you want to reset the default colors to black and white let's say I have this uh, two colors selected here if I want to go back to black and white you can press the D key on your keyboard and we'll go to black and, to black and white sorry and if you want to shift them you can press the X key and it will shift the colors as, as you can see here also if you have uh, multiple layers I'll go back for a second I forgot to mention this maybe you already know this uh, if you select this one for example you want to select all the layers uh, all the way to the bottom you can press and hold the shift key and click on the last layer you want to select and it will select all the layers in between um, if you want to deselect uh, some of them you can press and hold the control or command key and click on the layers you want to to deselect and it will deselect them so um, also if you want to for example see the original image without having to disable each layer individually what you can do is select the layer you want to uh, you want to have and press and hold the alt key and click on this eye icon and it will hide all the other layers automatically and if you want to um, show them again press and hold the alt key again and click on the icon again and it will show the other layers again and another thing you can do is right click on the on the eye icon and choose hide all layers and show hide all layers again so it's the same it's the same thing as I did with the by pressing in the alt key and clicking on the eye icon let's keep talking about layers if you want to create a new layer what you can do is press shift alt and control or shift alt and command on a Mac and press the N key and you will create a new layer if you want to have uh, to see the options for the new layer what you can do is press shift and control N or shift command N and you will get this new layer uh, window which allows you to give it a name so let's name this for example my name Andre and you can create a clipping mask you can change co uh, you can choose a color you can change the blend mode to let's say multiply and leave the opacity to 100% let's click OK and you can see this new layer has been created and it's a clipping mask I'll set on multiply I have this color and it's named Andre that's how you can create new layers uh, if you want to create a new layer uh, what I'll do is not delete this one if you want to create a new layer below the layer that you have selected what you can do is press and hold the control or command key and click this uh, new layer icon on the bottom of the layers palette 
and it will create the layer below the layer that you have selected so that's useful uh, so instead of creating the layer and dragging it down uh, you can press and hold the control key and click the new layer icon if you want to create clipping masks uh, a lot faster uh, it's to press and hold the the alt key and you put the mouse between the two layers and click and it will create the clipping mask if you want to release the clipping mask do that the same thing again you can also create clipping mask if if you use the keyboard shortcut alt control g or alt command g and you will clip the layer that you have selected so you can see that there so you can see there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts and as I said maybe it's a bit uh, hard for you to start using these keyboard shortcuts um, especially if you never did that before but uh, try using the most common ones and my advice would be to just uh, for example take a couple of keyboard shortcuts and use them and, and when they become natural to use uh, move on and learn new ones um, there are you can also um, create your own keyboard shortcuts uh, for example for the brush uh, have the w and the and the q key to change the size instead of the bracket keys i never use those and you can also change uh, for example if you want to create a layer mask there's no there's no keyboard shortcut uh, to create a layer mask so a layer mask is very it's a feature that is very used in photoshop so what you can do is open the keyboard shortcuts or you can use this uh, uh, keyboard shortcut that you can see here or just go to edit keyboard shortcuts and for example you can uh, expand the layer tab and it should be you can you should find here the the layer mask here it is the layer mask and uh, I already created a keyboard shortcut for this but uh, by default it's empty so expand the layer uh, tab and scroll down until you find the layer mask and you can see there's no shortcut for this but um, you can create your own keyboard shortcut uh, for this so select reveal all and I'll press shift alt and control O for example if you select the keyboard shortcut that is already in use uh, it will uh, warn you you will see this uh, uh, warning here it's already in use and it will be removed but I'll press uh, a keyboard combination that is not used like uh, shift alt control and O and accept and click OK and now if I press shift alt control and O it will create an empty layer mask so you can set uh, keyboard shortcuts for pretty much anything here in Photoshop you can cre you can use uh, actions if you know how to how to do that and well that's basically everything I wanted to show in this uh, uh, in this video as I said um, it's just a matter of practice uh, try using keyboard shortcuts at mu as much as you can they will speed up your workflow and it will make you look a bit more professional uh, because beginners usually go to the menus all the time so well that's uh, all for today I hope you liked uh, this uh, tutorial or this uh, quick tip session my name is Andrei, thank you for watching and see you next time.